My name is Tommy Gomes. I'm a fourth generation commercial fisherman. It's a hard life, but it's in my blood. I want you to meet the farmers of the sea who work so hard. Just down the coast from Fort Bragg is the Harbor House and award-winning chef Matthew Kammerer. Matt's got two Michelin stars. He's a 2020 James Beard semifinalist and rising star chef of the year and 2009 food and wine best new chef and James Beard best chef of the West. Dining at Harbor House is a memorable experience, both for the exceptional, innovative cuisine and the view, which isn't bad either. You know what's killing me? Is the fact that I'm allergic to uni and I can't eat this dish. I'm ready to headbutt myself with this wooden spoon. Don't get too close. <laughs> Don't get too close. <laughs> So what's going on? Tell us what we did. Yeah, so we have uh, savory corn custard, uh, local corn, eggs from our chicken coop right around the corner. Uh, and then we have local red sea urchin, a little bit of yuzu. On top you see the corn silk that's been fried in clarified butter. Little herbs from the garden. I want this so bad. <laughs> it's like, but I can't do it. And I want, I want to talk about what I saw in your kitchen. I didn't see plastic wraps, I didn't see plastic containers, one use, things like that. Tell yeah. me your philosophy the, on that. Eat those with a restaurant, um, trying to give guests a singular experience, meaning our seasonings, our products, uh, sustainability, these are all at the forefront. What's next? Yeah, we're gonna go uh, black cod. I love black cod. Black cod, also known as sable fish, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. So go ahead and walk us through the process and tell us what you did for the plate up. So starting with the black cod, uh, we get it in. It's actually usually too fresh, so we have to wait a day or two to fabricate it because it's in rigor. Um, and then we'll age it in cedar boxes for, it can really be anywhere from three to six days depending on time of year, so season and fat content and size of the fish. Uh, after that, we slowly grill it over charcoal and then finish it with Turkish Bay smoke. I can't believe I get to do this. Yeah, so the sauce on the bottom, you can dig in. I'm gonna dig in. I'm probably gonna dig into yours too. <laughs> sauce on the bottom is a vinaigrette made with uh, poached eggplant, turnips from our farm, and maitake mushrooms, and some coastal greens. So New Zealand spinach, society garlic, and a little chrysanthemum. I wanna have your baby. <laughs> It's that good. <laughs> the flavor profile comes at you very subtly, and, and, and the fat content, the, this fish is just so tender. It's so creamy, so buttery. I'm gonna be very rude. Yes. <laughs> Man, I gotta tell you, <clears throat> you see that plane over there? I ain't even switching forks. <laughs> <laughs> it's that good. I got this passion right now that's just killing me. I need to cool it down. Uh, we're gonna have a little ice cream that's made out of wakame. Seaweed ice cream, a little bit of our sea salt, and then matcha. Oh man, is that good. You can taste that seaweed and you get that crunchiness from your salt. Yeah. Are you gonna eat that? <laughs> hey, I don't think so. so. 